Hey friends, it's Helen from North Girl Gone South. I promised that I would try to get up a video about my first charcuterie board. I actually made this board myself. I bought the round from Home Depot, the Lazy Susan piece from uh, Amazon, and the little wood pieces I got from the Dollar Tree. These two uh, gingerbread platters I got from the Dollar Tree because I think I'm going to have so much stuff I'm going to have an overflow. I got these cake bites from ShopRite, but I believe uh, Big Lots had them. I got the gingerbread Oreos from the Dollar Tree and these maple leaf cookies from Aldi's because all the videos I watched you want to put something sweet on the board then at the Dollar Tree I got these mini forks uh, to pick up anything on the charcuterie board the olives I got these mini picks I got two packs of each so that should be more than enough I also got these bowls the small ones were a pack of four for a dollar and the uh, medium ones were a pack of two for a dollar, I'm going to use those for the pickles, the olives, and anything else that I need. Then I picked up some crackers uh, from ShopRite. I got the flatbread Italian, the townhouse pita, and those were from ShopRite. These were from Aldi, the garlic and herb crostinis, the breadsticks. I got the sea salt and olive oil. And then the artisan crackers in rosemary. All three of those came from Aldi's. Then, oh, also I got the Ferrer Rocher uh, candies to put around on the board. Uh, the dried apricots and the mixed berries came from Aldi's. Um, also, I'm not 100% sure that I'll use everything I also got mixed nuts for that little salt the stuffed olives they're stuffed with blue cheese and then I got the sweet gherkin pickles these are the things that I'll use the bowls for I bought this fig and carab carabinet I can't even say it preserves which I put in one of the bowls, Cabernet, sorry. Um, the pretzel crisps, the everything flavor, I got two bags of those. I got those at the Dollar Tree. The preserves I got at Aldi's, and the olives and pickles were from Aldi's. This is just an overview of stuff that I got. And then we're going to go to the meats. I got this prosciutto from Costco. And this is a nice size pack. This was probably, I want to say $10 to $13. But there is a lot of prosciutto in there. Then I got the a pack of salami and uh, chorizo. And this is to make the roses, the salami and chorizo roses, which if you want to see that in the video, let me know. This was from Costco. This is a charcuterie sampler. It had four kinds of like salamis, thin sliced, and then it had a few of the uh, chunks of chorizo and super sod. Then there was, I got cheddar cheese from ShopRite to cut up into chunks because I originally bought the cubes but I didn't think that bag was going to be enough I bought oh this is one of my favorite cheeses Manchego uh, I got that from Aldi's I got a block of Parmesan cheese which was really good and then I got these three blocks of Cracker Barrel Baby Swiss Gouda and Asiago, which I sliced up. Um, I tried to keep all the cheeses in different sizes to keep the board interesting and also so that I could tell the difference if someone asked me what kind of cheese it was. 
Also, I usually will bring something for the kids to do. This was a uh, decorate your own cookie. I found the snowmen at Target. They had the kits that had eight cookies and some decorating tools. It had like uh, some frosting and sprinkles, but not enough. So I brought the mini M&Ms to add to it. The icing in red and green. And I got those at ShopRite. And also this, I believe I got it at Home Goods. It's got the candy canes and the snowflakes, the little gingerbread men, and then the little hollies with the berries. And that was $2.99. And also, I got the hot cocoa bombs. I found these at Costco. I believe it's about $18, and you get 20 cocoa bombs, and they're different um, flavors. It comes in four separate packs, so if you wanted to buy it and split it into four gifts of five, um, they had milk chocolate and s'mores and caramel and all kind of good flavors. I picked up these sprinkles. The only sprinkles I could find, like regular sprinkles, I found these red ones at the Dollar Tree. And then I just got the rainbow sprinkles um, for added color. Now this was the other, I bought craft kits. I usually bring a craft for the kids and I got these wooden 3D crafts. They came in Santa or the snowman, which were the two I seen, but they were for the kids to paint. And then I would glue the pieces. There was like a base piece of wood that the pieces fit into. So I figured I would use the glue gun to glue them so that they would stay together. Uh, I got all of that at the Dollar Tree, including the glue gun and the glue sticks. And then I bought, oh, these tablecloths I got at a uh, Christmas tree shop. I get these tablecloths. I try to get them for whatever holidays they come out in. They're about $2 a piece, but they have coloring. They have games. You can play tic-tac-toe, find the difference between the pictures, um, and the kids love them. I got uh, paint holders, the glitter glue, the uh, brushes, the paint brushes, and the paint all from... Uh, Dollar Tree and the large red paint because I couldn't find any red at the Dollar Tree I got at Dollar General these are my favorite paints at the Dollar Tree I make a lot of my chalk paint with those uh, acrylic paints those seem to do well when you make paint and the tablecloths also I just bought them in Christmas so keep an eye out I think they have them for most holidays and the kids really enjoy them you put out uh, crayons with them so while they're at the table it keeps them occupied um, it's got a lot of games on it and like I said they oh they have word finder on that also now I'm going to show you the completed board um, this is the first one that I made so I did use the little trays that I bought at the dollar store. Thank God I bought them because I put all the crackers and the breads on those side trays because the board was a two foot board round and it was jam packed. When I say I couldn't even fit everything on it. Um, I had plenty of food and I replenished it throughout the night a few times Everybody enjoyed it. Um, it was a big hit. I did wrap the prosciutto around the breadsticks, but I also did kind of pile some on the board. And uh, the next time I make a board, if you guys want to like a detailed on how to make the roses and how I did the board, my cousin bought some stuffed peppers and brie cheese and provolone mozzarella balls. So it really was a jam-packed board. It was great, everybody loved it, and I hope everybody's Thanksgiving was good, mine was good, and I hope everybody, you know, ate a lot like usual. But yeah, it was a good holiday, and I hope you guys had a great Thanksgiving, 
and I will see you guys in my next video. Thanks a lot. Give me a like, subscribe, and leave me a comment down below. Love you guys. See you in the next video. Bye.